Grant School's STEAM Makerspace. We're so excited this year to start a new adventure at Grant Elementary School where students will be uh, working on 3D projects. Students will be also uh, working on Lego Robotics kits and designing and innovating new products. Uh, this year, our STEAM team has designed a schedule where students from grades 3 to 5 will be experiencing a weekly lesson. Uh, where they're going to, going to be using our 3D projectors, 3D printers, excuse me, and creating new products. There are so many exciting things happening at Grand School, so we we'll encourage anyone who would like to come in to see our STEAM program in play every day. Thank you. Uh, my name is Archie Jones, I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Grant. My name is April Reed, and I'm also a fourth grade teacher here at Grant. From the program form, we realized how much the inquiry based learning was working for our students and how giving them the ability to try things and try and error and fix them and have them let them think openly oh, I really work for our students. So we decided that we were going to put a little bit more into our STEM program. We also realized with the inclusion of technology in our classrooms that the students were highly engaged with it. So we started to rack our brains as to how can we include different ways of technology in our classrooms to engage our students even more and excite them about learning. Well, basically for this one right here, this is an uh, award that the kids are making. So in their writing, they're writing persuasive essays. And they are persuading why somebody deserves to win an award. So you can incorporate this with whatever you're writing about, and then you can actually make the award to give to whoever you wrote your persuasive essay about. So if I want to give Miss Reed an award for whatever reason, and I wrote about it, I can then come to the 3D printer, design my award, and then actually give it to Miss Reed. So, so now that makes it, it's not just you writing about it, it becomes real for the students, more personal. Also, it involves a lot of math because students have to create measurements for the objects that they want to print out. They have to know length, width, height, volume, terms like that that they use in math class. So we are cross-curricular and incorporating technology with other subjects as well. In addition to, they have to record notes about what they realize is working and is not working. The material that it has comes on a roll and it's um, hard plastic at first, so through the printer it melts down so that it's able to be molded and formed into whatever object it is. And some of it takes, you know, a certain amount of time, depending on whatever you make. The more intricate it is, the longer it's going to take for it to print. The larger it is, the more time, more material that it will use. Well. So that's why we, then it goes into more with the planning stage. We've got to make sure that whenever you plan it, it's not going to take time. So if you've got a mistake, you have to make sure it's going to take time. That also goes into the consideration of your project that you want to create. Do you have enough material to create enough projects for the group of students that you have and the number of students that you have? This right now has been going for about an hour and has 36 minutes left. So it depends on your object that you're printing, but it can be anywhere from five minutes to, as you can see here, about an hour and probably and a half. And this is already 76% done. So it's just depending on how intricate it is and the writing and whatever you got going on, it takes a little bit longer. I could get this way again. How could we? How could we do it on that way? Let's put it down again. Take another look. On top or next to it. Plastic technology. Next to it, right? Look from here. Are they next to each other? Are they on top? They're on top, right? So how can we move it over here? Move it over. Yeah, it's But is it biodegradable? Like now, now, now. Yeah, that's a good question. Now there you go. Now does it look the same? Okay. Where does it? Where does it go? Where would it be in a hundred years? Why don't you show her how you did it? So excited, superintendent, to see students so excited about learning all the subject areas. They're so active in the learning. No, I was saying if they see a little track and if they don't get it right in there, it would fall off. Like, see, it's falling off, so it's hard to get that on there sometimes. But once you know. It's on and it's on the whole machine, but that's that's critical. Otherwise, it's not gonna run.
We, we helped a couple of them do this part because they were having a hard time. And that's the other thing. you got to be careful they don't stretch them too far because the little band can break. So it, it's, it's a process. Yeah, this still for you? Maybe you can it works better if I hold this. This is the final product. This would be a little kid's bracelet. Very cute. And then this is, you know. Yeah, just throw away it that, just, right? just builds Can this. Can you just recycle to, that? Yeah, like it's into, plastic. Oh, okay. No, I meant like into more. Um, oh, no, no, no. Oh. no. I mean, maybe. I'm using colors. Yes. Yeah, but you, we draw the colors. Right. So, so this color right here is a U-turn. Like blue, red, blue is a U-turn. So what, what we should have done, we should have put this across the river here and then U-turn here. You know? So instead it crosses the wrong way. So we never made it, we didn't give it a chance to go over. So this is a design that you hand the child, we but then you have to come up with the code to solve well, it. The code is... Um, so that's a U-turn there? That one, I think he got. Yeah, was so, that one the one he was confused? So this is what they give, they give the kid. I mean, this is just the first lesson. Mm -hmm. There's a curriculum. So, so you give the kid this, and then the right colors. And then... So now we left. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> so wait, where did we put it last time? We put it there. But here's so all the codes. Put, so we should have put the jump. The jump left or whatever the jump left and right. So this one would be jump left. Well, yeah, I guess we got all the Because we don't want him to jump right. Cause then no, he's no we want to jump right. Well, if he's, he's coming this way. He's going to come that way or is he going to start here? No, he's going to start here. Place okay. Here. Okay. And then where's, but here's my thing. How does he decide where he wants to go? Does he automatically go left? You know what I'm well, saying? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so he so he'll automatically. But maybe he doesn't do it all the time. <laughs> so you know that one he didn't do it. So I guess you got to do it based on these three. Right. Like this would have to be jump left, right, and this one would be either or, and that would be like a stop or U turn or something. Probably a U turn. Oh, here's two exit. Those aren't one. Oh, here U turn end line. That would be a blue and a red. So you went there. And I made a house. Yeah. Well, let me give you a piece of paper. I made a house. So we'll switch. We'll switch the. So you you write the code with colors. So that that should be a U turn. Exactly. So excited as the superintendent to see students so excited about learning all the subject areas. They're so active in the learning.